My name is Jamie Utt, and I'm a diversity and inclusion consultant based out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, that was recently hired by the Dolores community to come in and work with your students. I've been following closely the tensions that have been occurring recently in Dolores, and so I wanted to reach out to you in hopes that you might feel a little bit more at ease about the person who's coming in to work with your students, and to give you an idea of the kind of programming that I'm going to be facilitating with the students of Dolores. But I guess let me start by telling you a little bit more about myself. I grew up in western Colorado, actually in Grand Junction, so not too far from where you are right now. And as a result, I feel like in, at least in some ways, I understand well the things that are facing western Colorado, whether we're talking about water issues or, or thinking about ranching and farming. Those are, those are the things that, that I'm familiar with. I also have 10 years of experience working with young people like yours in your community, helping them see themselves as the agents of change in building more positive, inclusive school communities where every single student feels safe and included and comfortable. I also wanted to make sure that I gave you a little bit of a heads up about what I'm going to be doing with the students of Dolores in my time with the community. On Monday, I'll be spending some time with middle school student leaders and high school student leaders. And essentially the goal of that time is to give those students some tools so that they can understand how after I leave, they can do the work of, of making sure that every single student feels safe and comfortable and included in their school environment. Specifically, I call these trainings Upstander Intervention Trainings or Student Diversity Stewards Trainings. And the goal of them is to make sure that students have tools so that on the other end, they can intervene when bullying is happening or when problematic behaviors are happening or to where they can try to create the kind of culture and climate on the whole within their school community that will make sure that every single person is respected within their identity so that they can learn at their highest potential. On Tuesday, I will be leading a series of assemblies, one for the middle school students and two for the high school students. My middle school assembly program, The Antidote, is geared toward giving students new perspectives on how to think about problems like bullying and the ways that students treat one another. Specifically, I use stories from my own experiences of being bullied, and I pair those stories with conversations around what your student can do to go from being a bystander in their school community to being an upstander who stands up against bullying and challenges the things that people are saying so that we can build a more inclusive school community. So I would encourage you to talk to your student about the assembly and to engage with them about the kinds of things that they took away from it. A few things that might help you in that process are that you could ask them about my experience of being bullied, ask them about my story, what kinds of things I experienced, and then maybe ask them if they can relate to anything from my story, if they have seen anything similar. Another thing that you could ask them about are something that I call the three ain't gunnas. The three ain't gunnas are essentially behavior changes that we're encouraging within the school community to try to build a more inclusive school environment. The first of those is I ain't going to get infected, meaning that I'm not going to let it in when other people are treating me poorly. I'm not going to let it affect my self-esteem, and I'm not going to let it hurt me in the way that it otherwise might. The second is I ain't going to spit poison, meaning that I refuse to treat other people poorly no matter what other people are doing. I'm not going to infect anyone else with the poison of bullying. And finally, the third is I ain't going to stand by. Simply meaning that when we see other people who are being mistreated in our school, we're not going to stand by and let it happen. We're going to talk to the person who's exhibiting the bullying behavior and see if we can help them so that they don't act that way anymore. And we're going to talk to the person who's experiencing the bullying behavior so that we can help them make sure that they're okay and that they're going to be all right despite the fact that they've been mistreated. In the end, the message of the antidote is simply this. If we want to change our school communities, then the students in the school are the ones who have every bit of power to do it. If we want to build a school where every single student feels safe, it's the students who are going to do that work to build that community. I hope that this video has given you a better sense of what it is that I'm going to be talking to your students about and given you some talking points so that you can discuss the content with them. But if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to go ahead and write them in the comments below and I will respond at my earliest convenience. Or if you'd like, you can email me at utt.jamie at gmail.com. That's ut.jamie at gmail.com and I'll get back to you at my earliest convenience. And if nothing else, I hope that I'll see you at our parent program that we'll be facilitating on Monday, 
the 8th of April at the school, and I look forward to talking to you and meeting you and telling you a little bit more about my programming so that hopefully we can work together to make sure that every single student feels like this is a community where they feel safe and where they feel in included. More than anything, I hope you'll join me so that we can work together with our students and with our teachers and with our administration to build the most inclusive community that we possibly can. Thank you, and I hope you have a fantastic day.